Hey everyone, so uh, I just want to say something. This was supposed to be Loyal Diamond's video. Until for some reason, the interview was like not working at all. So I asked if he could re if yeah. I asked if we could redo it, and uh, he hasn't responded to me yet. So Diamond, if you're watching this, just let me know if you want to redo it. If not, then I I'm sorry. All right, bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to like uh, another episode of interviewing with uh, YouTubers. Today we're interviewing Chunky Monkey. How are you doing today, Let's sir? Go. Good. I'm doing very good today. Yep. That's good. Are you ready for this interview? 100 percent. 100 percent. All right. All right. I'm gonna start with my first question. Uh, first question is, how did you get your name, Chunky Monkey? All right. So basically. It's like the, it's the dumbest thing ever. I'm not gonna lie, it's the dumbest thing ever. But like, back in the day, um, I didn't have a name and I was playing with my friend and we were just randomly like talking about Nick Avocado for some reason, like that one Nick Avocado guy. And then basically I was like, we were like talking about like how fat he was and stuff. I don't really understand why we were, but then I was like, yo, why don't I just make myself Chunky Monkey? It was the randomest thing ever. But yeah, that's how I came up with my name. I don't even know. I don't even know why Nico Avocado like decided to become old chubby and fat. He was in a club one time and he was eating with somebody else that didn't want to do the video. And he goes, "Bro, look at your look at your skin, cause like his skin was like not like him. It wasn't like so fat." He was like, "Bro, look at your skin. Look at your skin. Look at my skin now. Your skin is supposed to be look like a marshmallow." I was like, "Is this kid stupid or something?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second question. Um, who inspired you to do YouTube and why? Um, who inspired me? Probably Milkshake, BR, GT. Actually, no, his name's like Milkshake GT. He's he's not popular at all, honestly. He only has like, well, he's decently popular. He has like 12,000 subs, but he posted this like one video. It's like he played on like 45 hertz or whatever. And it was like an insane video, like it was like so funny, all of that. It was like its first video too, and it blew up, and I was like, no way, that is crazy. And then I was like, why don't I just make a YouTube channel? Because I was just really bored that day, and I was like, I really want to be like that kid. Yeah. Now I'm like, I have like more subs than him, I'm pretty sure now. Uh, it's crazy. We'll see. Well, so if you said 12k, and you're at 10k, then uh, I, I don't know. Oh, wait. Well, I don't know if you have exactly 12k. I'm about to actually reach 12k. I only need like 300 more subs until I hit 12k. Nice. nice. I'm pretty sure he's around there. I don't really. I haven't checked his channel in so long. To be honest, you're like the very first person that I interviewed that didn't say J Man Curly. Damn TD. My second question is if you're the owner of Gorilla Tech, what would you add and what would you remove? Um. What would I add? I would probably add um a sports update because i love sports so much something i would remove is probably flashbacks mm, yeah flashbacks, i'm an og yeah flashbacks you can't really say you're og anymore since yeah yeah no i like this i'm um, this i got og and it was like the biggest flex i ever had and now everyone has it it's not really that good yeah so uh, What's it called? I think they did. They kinda did a sports update with like the hockey stuff. I mean, that's just one sport. Oh, but that's when I like that's that's when I stopped playing Gorilla. Yeah. That time. If you if you like made your own finger painter, what would it be like? Would it still be like a finger painter, or would it be like something else? Like for Jam and Curly, it'd be like his own cosmetic, like curly hair and oh. all that stuff. Like, if I could make my own cosmetic, basically? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. I would probably honestly make, like, straight up. I know I said sports update, but I'll make a working basketball. That sucks. They I can add around. a basketball court somewhere. Make that cool. Yeah, that, that's what I want. I'm so upset. Want... They were planning to make a dodgeball update, and that never happened. Oh, I know. They could have made. It was supposed like, to be right they there. Made so much. Yeah. yeah. Dude, if they made that, they could have had like footballs. They could have had like 
basketball, soccer, all, they could add all that mechanic and stuff. That would have been yeah. insane. Yeah, someone went through the files and it, sh it showed like bouncer balls. Like you can hear the bouncing, all that stuff. But like, let me just never added it for some reason. It's stupid. Yeah, I know it sucked. Uh, if you if you added your own like mechanic to the game, like uh, let's say since oh. Gorilla Tag has like throwing stuff and all that stuff, like what would it be? Okay, I would probably add uh, a riding thing. Like back in the day when the mines was about to come out for the thing. Well, actually, it's not that far back in the day. But I would always say, like, I think they're gonna add mine cards, and like, they never did. But that would be the coolest mechanic ever if there were like moving mine cards, like that actually moved around, and you could like click a button to like see yourself into it. That would be so cool. Yeah. Not gonna lie. The first time I ever got clickbaited by Jam and Curly is the horses thing. He, he it's like his thumbnail. Oh it's like yeah, a horse. I saw that video. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. And then I, I was clickbaited. Yeah, um, so since you hit uh, like 10,000 subs and like 11,000 subs, uh, what would you do for like 12,000 subs? Like, would you do anything special? 12,000. I would literally, honestly, I would do nothing. Do nothing. I would probably make a community post. That's it. Cause like, I literally only do. I only do like uh specials. Either when I'm just really feeling up to it, for like, if I get like a whole another like 10,000 or something, or if I get another digit, then I'll do a, tw uh, like thing for it. Gotcha. If you collabed with any YouTuber, uh, who would it be and why? Um, probably, to be honest, either Elliot or like, CJVR, cause they're like, I swear, like, low-key, like, we have, like, a lot in common. I've been in, like, their, um, like, Discord things, like, the stages and stuff, and they're yeah. just talking about stuff. They're, like, talking about, like, everything I like to do, and I'm like, that's kind of crazy. And also, like, me and CJVR have, like, kind of the same hair, which, yeah, but, like, that's, that doesn't really mean anything, but still, kind of funny. <laughs> well, I think that's all the questions I got for you. Where are you going? No clipping. Um, thank it you was for coming nice here. Talking. Nice talking to you as well. Nice to meet you.